Guys, it's Rob. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on over. Uh, this is the very first of the seven star reviews. I'm super excited and uh, I'm just so glad that you guys are uh, checking it out. Make sure that you like this video and you subscribe. Uh, it definitely helps out and uh, it's just going to help to jumpstart the channel uh, as we're trying to get things started again. So uh, like I had said in the channel relaunch video, uh, one of these things that I'm super excited about is getting to play through the original SNES library, North, the North American releases. And uh, I thought, what would be the best way to start it out? Let's do something that's going to feel like home. Let's going to do something that is uh, uh, familiar. And uh, we're going to go Disney games. So we're going to start out with uh, a little something that I've never actually got to play before, but I'm kind of excited to check it out. And uh, it's going to be Beauty and the Beast on the Super Nintendo. Check this out. Here we go. Oh, baby. Did you see that? I've been working on my OBS. We'll see, uh, we'll see if it holds up. Let me give you guys a little bit of volume on this, uh, on this bad boy. I like it. I like it. Oh, the music, it's perfect. All right, we're just gonna jump right in. We're just gonna jump right in and see what happens. Like I said, I've never played this. I've never checked it out. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Uh, fearing harm will befall the rose. The beast seeks bell in the castle halls. So we're just like jumping right into Belle being captured and being all up in the castle. Oh dang, we're just... We're just chasing dames right from the beginning. Oh, look at this. That's, oh my. Okay, hang on, hang on. I gotta uppercut the spider. Oh, I'm a little rusty. It's been a while. There we go. Killed him with lightning. Okay, two things I'm noticing. Number one, uh, we're already chasing dames, which is great. But dude, right there from the very beginning, it's Lumiel the candlestick. And I'm not gonna lie, this, oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Okay, my health bar is, is the heart. Oh, and I, you know what? I think the rose is a timer. There are so many spiders in this castle. Clean, you know, from the movie, it was pretty clear that he didn't keep up with this place, so that makes sense. Uh, okay, this is interesting. This is kind of giving me um, uh, Aladdin on the SNES vibes. Even, even to the point where, if you remember, and I was a big fan of Aladdin on the Super Nintendo. Much better than uh, the Sega Genesis version, but we can talk about that another time. Uh, Lumiere is kind of like a boo. He's always like telling you to hurry up and come on. Oh my! Okay. I'm doing a lot of talking and not a lot of playing. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Uh, Bell just running away, and I'm just gonna destroy these spiders, no problem. I am, oh, got him with the stone. He was stoned. Wait, that, that didn't come out right. Uh, this is definitely giving me Aladdin on SNES vibes, and that's good because Aladdin on the SNES is so good. Like, when we get to that game, I may have to do like a stream to play it for a while. Okay, what's happening? Is he saying go up? How do you go? I can't go up. Can I? What am I doing? <laughs> that's just like the metal scream. Oh, oh, you're building up your roar. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we're gonna use that at some point. Um, it's like he's telling me to crawl right here, but that is just every button does nothing to let me crawl. So we're going to go this way where I almost died earlier, or I did die actually, but it's fine. No one's keeping track. I love how he's like going to fall and he just balances. Oh, what? That's like a badger on me. Get off of me. I'm pushing every button and I can't get him off of me. Oh my gosh. He was like straight up. It was like when those attack dogs get you. That was so awesome. <laughs> okay, okay. See, now the spiders are like nothing. This is like uh, uh, Dark Souls back in the day. You know, like you just, you, you gain the knowledge of the challenges before you and that's what gets you, that's what gets you to the, to the next level. What is, why does he want me to go here? I don't know why I'm trusting this candlestick. He... He's trying to illuminate the way. Get off of me! Oh, you gotta jump. Okay, that's how you get him off. Get, you gotta, you gotta just, you gotta wiggle. That's what it is. It's a wiggle. It's a wiggle move, and then you kill him. Oh, there is so many just rodents and beasts. Get it, beasts. <laughs> in this castle, I don't even know what I just grabbed. Can I go in this door? I cannot go in this door. Okay. All right, let's go back this way. I'm assuming we're gonna need this stone if we go this way. I will say this, 
this is not too bad. I'm enjoying... Oh, I feel like I needed to throw that much farther than I did. Dang it. Can I pick it up while I'm on top of it? Nope. All right. I think we know what's going to happen here. On the spikes. Oh, oh, I got another. I got... Okay. Uh... Hey, it's Cogsworth. You, of course, you jerk. Um, I dig this. It's good. It feels good. I, it, it, there's definitely some challenge to it because the enemies are just everywhere. But we're going to get, I want to at least get past this level because I feel like if there is a level where you get to fight the wolves in the woods, that that will be so sweet. And then I just want to fight Gaston. I just want to punch him in the face so bad. <laughs> Don't fall on that. Okay. Get get the wiggle. You got a wiggle. Get the wiggle. Get the wiggle. Get the Oh, they're coming at me. Multiple. Oh, he's dang. Okay. Get. Yeah, you see that duck move? It's pro gamer status. You like that. Okay. I'm going to be more careful with this boulder this time around. And this is what's going to get us across the pit. Right to the edge. There it is. Now we just got to take out this dang spider. No problem. See the spiders? Oh, what? That's what... <sighs> Lumiere, I apologize. <laughs> Look, I'm freaking Spider-Man over here. <laughs> oh, and like a downward punch. Okay, this game... Like, I feel like they would have marketed this to the ladies. Like, and I'm, I'm not trying to be... Whatever that sounds like. I feel like, but if I'm a, if I'm me at age 12, okay, let's, hi me, I'm 12, and I see a Beauty and the Beast game, I just punch that weasel in the face. Uh, I feel like that's going to break. I'm not going to step on it. Oh, dang it. Um, I feel like this game is not going to be marketed to me. I don't even know if I'm going to rent this. I'm just being honest. It's good. I am enjoying this. I like the different uh, dynamics that it has with, like, the different attacks. I don't even know what the roar does. I feel like it's going to stun somebody. I want to jump across here again because I want to see if I can climb up to where Lumiere was telling me to climb. Because I got... If there's, like, a warp whistle or a tanuki suit, we're going to be in business. Get, climb on that wall. Climb it. Okay. Won't let me do it. Okay. That's all right. I feel like in the midst, I don't want to go past much more than like 10 minutes because look, you don't want to look at my face this whole time. I feel like I want to get farther in this and I want you to enjoy it with me. This, uh, this could be a candidate for a longer playthrough. I'm just going to say, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, I think it's twitch.com slash the retro hunters. I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to figure all that stuff out. Either way, I feel like this is a great candidate for a long play uh, live stream. I'm just gonna I'm gonna spoil it for you right now. When we get to uh, flashback, flashback's gonna get a long playthrough. Uh, there's some other ones. They're gonna get a little bit of a long playthrough. So I hope you'll come check that out. All right, we're getting back in business here. That that's the guy who got me. It's you gotta get the you gotta get the timing down. Here we go. There it is. Oh, wait, that's not the guy. God, that's the guy. That one was the... That's... That was the guy. <laughs> oh, this music. Like, at first it was good, but now I'm going to hear this in my dreams because it just keeps restarting every time I die. Gosh. Okay. This is going to be the last try. This is last life right here. So this is all or nothing. This is, this is big boy mode. This is pro gamer status. Okay, this is roguelike. You die, you die for good. So that's all I'm... That's all I got to say about that. I want to... What is this? Roar! Do! No, it doesn't stop him. That's clear. Punched him. Tried to punch him. I feel like that animation right there is going to be so good if there's a level where you fight the wolves in the woods. I'm just saying. And even like maybe where Gaston attacks you with a knife. Mmm. It's going to be good. I can feel it. And maybe you get to... I don't even... Do you get to play as anybody besides the Beast? If there's a level where you get to be Gaston, I'm gonna be in love. All right. Oh, gosh. Guys, as I just get back over to where we were, I just want to once again say thank you guys so much for sticking around the channel and uh, 
staying subscribed and uh, just being supportive of the of the show. And uh, it's cool to to be back here and just to be interacting with you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is like the first Super Nintendo game that I've played in probably uh, five years, and this is my youngest. <laughs> yeah, the weasel. The weasel did it. <laughs> what? Oh, you want you want odd bods? Oh, you want me to turn tots off? Okay, I'll be right there. I'll be right there to turn it on, okay? Can you wave and say hi to everybody? Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, there you go. Uh, that's the first time I start Okay, so I'll have some kind of cool animation that'll fly in here, I'm sure, at some point. But uh, Beauty and the Beast on the Super Nintendo. I'm going to go ahead and say five stars. Okay, five out of seven. Five stars, because... It, the gameplay feels good. The graphics are awesome. The music was sweet. It was definitely challenging. I am looking. For, I want to play it longer. So uh, I think there's something there. So that's really cool, guys. I totally almost forgot. We got to pick the next game for the next seven star review. So uh, that's what happens. It's the dad brain. It gets you every single time. Uh, so let me explain how we're gonna do this. There is a website called ListChallenges.com. And over there, they have every North American release on the Super Nintendo listed from one to 714. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a random number generator that I have right here. It's nice and set up for, let me find that camera, there it is. One through 714. And we're gonna let the fates decide what the next game will be for the next seven star review. Now, here's the deal. A few caveats. Number one, if it's a sports game, I have the right to veto because we don't wanna get into like six Madden videos back to back or something crazy like that. So if it's an interesting sports game, then we might go down that road, but uh, we, we can veto that. Uh, and so we're gonna roll and we're gonna see what it is together. So here we go. I'm gonna put it right up here so you can see. I'm gonna hit randomize, baby. 236. So let's head up here. Let's go about six pages in and see. Oh, beautiful. Okay, 236 is going to be for the next seven star review, we're looking at Inindo, an Inindo Way of the Ninja. I have no idea what that is. Come on back, we'll experience it together. Thank you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, make sure you share all that good stuff. And uh, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> Inindo. It might be good. It might be good.